Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. Now, this was an actual request um, from another YouTuber, uh, Eric Drummond. I don't know if you guys follow him, but I'll leave his YouTube channel uh, link in the description box um, after this tutorial and tips and tricks video. Um, he insisted, or I wouldn't say insisted, but you know, he uh, shared with me that, hey man, uh, you do a lot of talking about Freedom Pop and the free service, but a lot of people are on this 200 megabyte data plan. How can they reserve 200 megabytes every 30 days? And it's quite simple. Uh, one easy form factor is always have Wi-Fi. Now, if you want free phone service and you just want, you know, some limited calls, text, and that minimum usage of data. But also you can you can get free data um just going to your you know your friend pop uh, account settings and go to earn and share data and you can invite you know family and friends you can invite other friend and pop users to share data with you but the minimum the, I mean the maximum is 50 megabytes of free data each month additionally uh with the friend and pop 200 megabyte uh, cell phone plan um using the GSM SIM card the bring your own phone SIM card which you can also purchase at Target and Best Buy and so on. You have to go to the either the stores or you have to go online to, to get the free uh, SIM card. Not, not free SIM card, but the order one. But this video is about how to reserve or how to keep the minimal of 200 megabytes and be able and still be able to use your phone full functional. Now, like I said, majority of these basic apps right here on my iPhone home screen hardly ever use data like books don't need data only if you want Wi-Fi you got to download it okay so the main key here is to to use offline access options all right even with those turned on while you're on the data it won't use your data because you're using it as an offline access now one major data killer is the Google Maps application and what you will need to do is you will just have to you know download the map of wherever you need to go the destination you need to go to just download it via wi-fi before you leave before you take off um, on a flight or um you know uber or anything like that just download um just download the directions that you need and it won't use your data it'll just use your gps all right, so that that's one big major app that will use all your your data up. Um, of course, we already know another hogger is Google Chrome. So if you're using if you're using Google Chrome a lot, you might want to uh, turn on a data saver app. Um, the data saver. So how you do this is, and I just want to make sure nothing inappropriate showed up. Okay. How you do this is you go to settings. All right. And then uh, let's see. I think it's on here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Data. I think it's uh, bandwidth. Okay. The bandwidth. Okay. So you want to. Okay. Google Chrome has features to help you manage your internet data and how quickly you're able to load pages. All right, so you got this option. You could do preload web pages, only on Wi-Fi, never preload, or you got always. All right, this is for iOS. Now, Android is different. Android, you got data saver options all over the place. But with iOS, for some reason, Google and Apple are not, you know, connected. All right, so you could do always preload, only on Wi-Fi or never. All right, so you have those options for uh, your data settings on your Chrome. Um, another alternative, though, that you guys might want to consider, and it's a browser, it is Opera Mini. Now, Opera Mini is a, a data-saving uh, browser. So it saves you maybe 50% of your data when you're browsing the web. And it's already preloaded and preset. So all you have to do is just, you know, if you need to search Facebook or Twitter, 
Instagram, whatever. You can set all your accounts up in Opera Mini and it'll definitely uh, help you save data. All right. So that's another alternative option. Um, let's see. Um, for your browsing. Now, I think also you can use TunnelBearer, which is a VPN access. It does compress the data and it slows up the speed. So you might want to turn on the VPN access if possible. Um, other things that will help you save data is just using calls and texting app. All right, just use your frontal pop calls and texting application. And it is data free. Also, anyone that you have um, as a frontal pop user can call and text 100% free without using your minutes, data, or texting. So make sure you are using the Friendly Pop messaging app to do your calls and texts to help you save a lot of data. Um, also for music, you have, uh, let me see, okay. Next Radio. Next Radio does help you save data with the headphone jack. All right, so you won't eat up as much data using the Next Radio app. Um, also having play music, Zinking up all your music files to the Google Play Music application or iTunes would be another alternative option. All right. And games. These are games that do not need internet access. Well, once you have them downloaded, you got to, of course, you got to download the games first and set them all up. I did a video about this. I'll leave a link in the description box. But yeah, so majority of the stuff I've already discussed. I'm just giving you a, like a quick rundown of how you can save data, how and, and how you can reserve or preserve 200 megabytes each month without you know overages or anything like that, and um, also buying a, a Magic TV device and you can watch TV without using internet. So that's another option, another alternative uh, you guys can do and try and test out. Um, that's really pretty much it. That's really how you can reserve and preserve 200 megabytes of free data on a frontal pop free phone service with the bring your own bring your own phone plan and option. Uh, like I said, your 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 main your main apps, your basic apps like this on all on your front screen really doesn't use internet data like that. The only one that's really going to eat your data, well, the only two, is the Google Maps and uh, the Google Chrome browser. All the other apps you're able to do, like going through the settings and tweaking and things like that. Also, just going into your your main settings and going to cellular data, and then just turn it off and just turn it off. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I mean, um, they do have cellular data options. Oh, okay, voice enable voice LTE. Okay, so and stuff like that um yeah but yeah that's pretty much it these are your uh current period i have one point gigabyte 1.4 gigabytes and stuff like that uh hmm. oh okay total i guess this is total how much i'm using all right so it, okay also you could just turn off each app and not let it use any data just turn off each app and not let it use any data. Oh, one more thing. Another app um, that will help you preserve uh, data is getting the Pocket app. This is one of my favorite apps. All you have to do is if somebody send you a link, uh, copy and paste the link, um, share it to the Pocket app, open the Pocket app, and um, your links and stuff will pop up right here. And you won't need to worry about internet access just to you know, read web links and stuff. So yeah, guys, this is one of the best ways to preserve your 200 megabytes on a free um, service or 250 megabytes, however much you're getting. Um, like I said, you can get a 50 additional megabytes free each month when you invite people to Freedom Pop and you ask for some data. <laughs> Or you could do the earn share, and I got videos about that. I'll leave all the links in the description box. Um, once again, follow follow my boy Eric uh, Drummond. Um, he's also doing videos for Freedom Pop and Text Now Wireless. He'll have some reviews coming out soon. So be on the lookout uh, for, for his YouTube channel and subscribe to him. Also, you like this, 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share it to your family and friends that won't um that want to use free phone service but are afraid to use it due to overages or anything like that. All right, it's your boy, two phones.